Hi, my name is Patrick Wyatt, and I'm here to give you an introduction to the Promethean Smart Boards. These are the buttons from left to right on the front panel of the Promethean board. First, we have the power on button. Second are the volume up and volume down buttons. Next is the Promethean flame button. Press this button to open up the menu at any time. Next is the freeze button, and the freeze button will freeze the current image on the screen. Click the freeze button again to unfreeze the image. Next is the touch button, and that lets you turn the touch on or off. Next is the source button, and the source button allows you to switch between the attached Windows computer or any computers plugged into the HDMI cord. This is your Promethean remote. We have the buttons numbered to help. First is your instant power on. Use this to turn the panel on. Second are your navigation and select buttons. You can use these arrows to navigate to the option of your choice and press the check mark to select your option. Use the volume up and down buttons to increase or decrease the panel's volume. Select the unified menu button to access the locker in any of your apps. Press the source button to switch between any of the attached sources, such as the Windows computer or any attached laptops. The blank screen button will black out the screen. Click the blank screen button again to bring the image back. And finally, click freeze to freeze the current image on the screen and click freeze again to unfreeze. Power settings. If the red power light is on and the Promethean flame is off, that means the board is in standby mode. Click the red power button to turn the board on. If the red power button is on and the Promethean flame is white, that means the board is in sleep mode. Touch any of the buttons or touch the screen to wake it up. When you're ready to sign into the Promethean Smart Board, click on any of the arrow buttons along the bottom or the right and left hand sides of the screen and click Source, then click OPS. This will load up the Windows computer just like the Podium computers. If it doesn't bring you to the login screen, you may need to hit Control Alt Delete on the keyboard to wake it up. One handy thing to remember with the touchscreen is if you need to right click, press and hold, and that will pull up the right click menu. When you're finished using, make sure you click the Windows icon in the lower left hand corner, the person icon, and sign out. Remember, the Windows computer on here is labeled as the OPSM. And if you ever need to get back to it, click on any of the menu icons, click Source and OPS. If you'd prefer to bring your own laptop, utilize the Screen Share app to share the screen between your laptop and the Promethean board. First, click the menu icon, then click Screen Share. Take note of the panel name and the panel ID listed here. If you haven't already, download the Screen Share app by Promethean onto your computer. Once you've done that, type in the panel ID as shown on the Promethean board and your name. Optionally, you can enable touchback so that you can control your computer from the touch panel. Click Enter the Waiting Room to enter the waiting room. Once you've connected using the Screen Share app on your computer, Click the person icon in the lower left hand corner of the panel connection information. This will list everyone connected to the device. Click on the person you want to display and share. Now I'm sharing my own device. When you're done, click the blue stop sharing button at the bottom of the screen.
The unified menu is accessible from the bottom, left, or right sides of the Promethean board, or you can press the Promethean flame button on the front panel. The unified menu contains the most commonly used tools right at your fingertips. The locker pulls up a list of applications. The owner pulls up user account information. The home button will always return you home to the Promethean home screen. The whiteboard will load up the whiteboard. Capture will take a snapshot of whatever's on the screen, let you crop it, and then import it into the whiteboard. Annotate will let you annotate directly over the screen. Source lets you connect to the attached OPS module or the Windows module or any attached computers. The recent apps will pull up any recently opened applications. Now that we know how to get connected to the Promethean board, let me go through a couple of its applications. To access any of the built-in applications, click on any of the menu icons located at the lower, middle, or the left and right corners. Click Annotate. I can drag the annotation menu anywhere on the screen I need to by clicking the colored area and dragging it to the appropriate area. I can draw directly onto the board right now using the pen and I can select which color I want here. If I'd like to create a bigger line, I can select the pencil icon again and select a larger line. Your highlighter function is here and follows the same principles as the pen. Your colors are here and if I click this again, I can change the size. I can erase the screen by clicking this option, or I can use my finger to erase by clicking here. I can hide my annotations by clicking this icon and unhide them by clicking it again. My undo and redo options are right here, and when I'm finished, I can click the X and that will clear my annotations. Next, the Capture app. The Capture app will take a picture of whatever's on the screen. From here, I can edit the size if I'd like to change the size of the capture. Once I'm done, I click Done and Open in Whiteboard. That will automatically open up the capture in the included whiteboard app. Now let's review the whiteboard functions. The menu is on the left. Your options icon is first. Click this to pull up the options menu where I can open up a new whiteboard, open up a saved one, or save my current one. I can also change the toolbar position if I'd like it on the other side. Our next option is dual user mode. Enter this mode and it splits the screen down the middle and gives two touch options for each user. The board has 20 points of touch, so two users can use it at the same time. Press the button to exit dual user mode. The whiteboard features an infinite canvas, which means I can move this photo around and access more of my canvas. Notice the upper left hand corner of the screen where I can see additional parts of the canvas. If I no longer need this capture, I can select it and click delete. Now let's review a couple other of the whiteboard features. Next you have your grid patterns. Click on this to pull up a list of pre-built grids and optional colors. Your line color is listed here first, while your background color is listed down here.
Next, we have insert image. Click on this button to pull up a list of pre-built charts and templates. You can also pull up a gallery of photos if you have an attached USB. Select any chart or template you want to import. Now I can move it around, rotate, and increase its size. When I'm done, I can select this and then click delete. Next option is your pen tool and your pen colors are right down here. Select the pen tool again to choose your width. Next is your highlighter option. This follows the same principles as the pen. If I'd like to change my palette of colors, I can click the color palette here. Down here I have my eraser for hand erasing, or if I want to erase the whole screen. Click this icon to pull up the map tools, then select the tool you'd like to import. You can move these tools around in the same way you can a chart or a template. This color in the middle tells you which mode it's in. Red mode is filled angle mode. Click on the color to change it. Blue indicates lines from the center. And green will create arcs. When you're done, you can click the X icon to remove the tool. Your annotations will stay. If you need to clear your annotations, use the Erase tool or the Erase Screen tool. Lastly, your Undo and Redo options are here. You can open up the Timer app by clicking the Menu and then Locker. Locker pulls up a list of all installed applications. Find the timer and click on it to open. Your options here for stopwatch, timer, and clock. Click the plus sign to add additional timers. You can have a maximum of four timers. Expand the timer by clicking the two arrows. Minimize it by clicking that again. Close the timer by clicking the X. Finally, there is also a Spinner app. Click on the menu, click Locker, and click Spinner. The Spinner gives you a spinner with a bunch of pre-built templates. Names, numbers, colors, vowels, consonants, and alphabet. Or you can create a new list. When creating a new list, it's important to remember that you can have a maximum of 44 variables in your spinner. Click the gear icon for your options. You can optionally have it select an item only one time and turn the sound on or off. Add additional timers by clicking the plus sign, or expand your timer by clicking the two arrows. Minimize by clicking it again. You can close your timer by clicking the X. Thanks, and have a great semester, everyone.